Welcome to the Flaming Greek, the hottest cooking show on the planet. Watch the hilarious duo cooking up adventure with the help of the torch. Oops. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> The Flaming Greek and Cammy on Foodie TV. www.theflaminggreek.com. Welcome to this episode of The Flaming Greek. I'm Cammy and this is The Greek. How are you, Cammy? I'm well. How are you? Good. Welcome back. You see what we're doing today? Um, yeah. Oysters. Yeah, there's a rumor about you and the oyster thing. Yeah, right? no I idea. know. But you know what? I'm feeling a little adventurous today, so I think I'm going to eat the oysters today. Good. I'll I had a bad experience once. But the second time I didn't have, I had a better experience, so I think the third time is the charm, right? Right. We're gonna see if we can get you off the fence. Yeah, I'm gonna try it again. So how do we, uh, how do we start these up? Well, listen, I got some ingredients over here. I got some, um, some onion. I got some garlic, salt, sea salt, pepper, some flour for the roux, with the butter, and we have some mascarpone here. So this is like oysters, Rockefeller, huh? Yeah, the Greek style. Yeah. The way the Greek likes to do it. So how do we, uh, so how do we get this started? Because I've never, we, I don't think we've ever cooked oysters before. No. So this time. is a whole new experience. It's really exciting. So, um, so what do we do? Is we... Well, what I'm going to do is start off with a little hot sauce. I love hot sauce. On pizza. Some garlic. And some onions. Some butter. You put the whole thing of butter? Now, yeah. for the people at home, how much of butter How much butter would you put in there? Like a quarter stick. Quarter stick? And then, yeah, um, like, and then yeah, that one like is the... That mascarpone. Use mascarpone. That, yeah, use that. And you, how much for the mascarpone that you would uh, use? I would just use like maybe, you know, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. But then again, everything we're doing here is to our taste, our like. So again, again, get in there, you start yeah. messing around. Get creative and see what you like. Right. So, a little pepper and salt. And some sea salt. Now, I have some truffles here, but I'm going to use this for me. But this is um, great stuff here. Um, black gum sliced truffle. All right, so let's just, just heat up, incorporate that. And let me get a spoon. All right, so this is all done on heating the meat. You see what it's doing? Yeah, it's, uh, it's all a little buttery, like a little. Uh... It's getting thick. Smell that. You smell. No, what do you smell? Mm, it smells really good. It, it, it smells like it has a lot of aroma. Yes. Aroma. There's a lot of ingredients. I don't know how to, how to explain the aroma, but it's, it's good. You smell that's, garlic. Oh, and that's what it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. So what's that? This here is um, white flour. We're going to put this in here in a few minutes, and the reason being is we're going to thicken it up. It's okay. a thickening agent is what it is. All right, so we're going to use some of this Vanellio. Olive oil. Vanellio! Yeah, Vanellio, like Pinocchio Vanellio. Vanellio. Okay, great olive oil. Like I say, check it out. All right, so we're going to put a little olive oil in here. Now, for the people at home, because we did put a little bit of hot sauce in there, I do recommend that you have a fan on when you're doing the hot sauce because it will get in your nose. You will maybe sneeze or cough a little bit because when you're having the hot sauce up boiling, right? Yeah, and if you're not getting along with your spouse, man, this is what you're serving. <laughs> Stuff's yeah. really doing a number on us. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. It gets, it gets up in your nostrils. So for, for anyone at home, make sure that when you do this recipe to just have like a little, uh, little fan on or a little air going through and... Um, Maybe some nose plugs. Yeah, and if you got the mother-in-law coming over, you want to get rid of her real quick. I mean, this is the meal for her. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So we got this thing. I'm going to turn this down just a bit. And I'm going to add, what do you think we have here? I think that's beef. Parsley. Parsley. Oh. Um, spinach. I actually like spinach. Yeah, it's good Popeye's. I, I used to eat that when I was a kid. Because of, of Popeye. All right, honey, you see what's going on? It's nice and thick. It almost looks like um, like spinach and artichoke dip a little bit. Yeah, it has like a, a little has a consistency of it, but a little bit um, cream, uh, creamier. Spinach. She's cream. absolutely right. I love spinach. But it's delicious. Enjoy. All right, so we'll let that sit there for a moment. I want to throw a little more bologna on it. Bologna! 
You have to say it like that when you do it. Manolio. Manolio. Great. Good stuff. Now, um, now when you're stirring, do you have the heat on or do you leave it off? Yeah, I got the heat on. Just very, very little because right. of the, uh, you know, the hot sauce. If you right. put it like again, you put it too high, you're gonna be feeling it. But if you if you want to clear out your sinuses, wow. turn it up. <laughs> Boy, really it's does. getting to me again. <laughs> That was my fault though, because I put the hot sauce in a hot pan. I should have just done that. So this. what would you recommend for them out there to do? Um, you put your butter in, you put all your ingredients, your garlic, your olive oil. But you wait for the hot sauce. Put it in last. Put it in last. So back at home, don't do what he did. Don't make that mistake because you will be suffering the consequences. I learned something new though. Yeah, I didn't even know that either. So what do you think? It looks good? I think it looks delicious. Yeah, you're still having the suffering of the aftermath. Right? Yeah, because we, we did oh. a big no-no. And again, for all you people out there, do not put the hot sauce in before anything else. In a hot pan without having Bad idea. It. Because, I mean, you're sick, put some hot sauce in a boiling pan. You'll clear your sinuses out. All right, so what we're going to do is, is take these couple of these oysters and put them in there. And what we're going to do is going to quick torch. Some olive oil, maybe? Um, no, or should we just put them in like that? You just put them in just like that. How many should I put in here? What do you think you can get in there? So I got six oysters in the pan. All right, and our um, sauce is almost done. Should we turn it on now, or? No, we're just going to do a quick torch on that. We're going to torch the oyster. We're going to torch the oysters. Torch it, torch it. We have ignition. All right. Are these gonna spit like the bacon does? No, there's no oil. So all we want to do is just lightly torch these. Oh, gen dental torch. Yeah, we don't want to do. No, don't burn it! Don't burn it! Don't burn it! The shells are so pretty. We gotta keep them. We gotta keep them in the oyster, the oysterness. You know, I can get them from the bottom and just use that shell. Like the if the shell heats up, do they cook? Yep. That's the plan. That's the plan, Sam. I think they're good, no? Well, oh, do you like them raw? I mean, no, but how do you know when an oyster is cooked? I, I'm not an oyster eater, so I don't really know. Okay. So for the people at home, if they're cooking with a <laughs> with a Look, audience, you get to see them cooking right before your eyes. That's before. <laughs> That's after. <laughs> Don't do that at home. Wow. Well. <laughs> so I think I need a spoon because I think you should put some of that on top of here. Thank you. The cream of spinach. We have a couple more little oysters. Now again, these oysters have not been cooked. Oh, they're a little tricky. Oh, it looks like an eyeball. <laughs> Some so. pepper oil. All right, so let me just, um, there you go. Delicious. Now you can finish it off. If I, if I may make a suggestion. Yes. What is, and this you is could, the, um, Whatever, and then stick them on there. Just make a nice And what is, what is this? These are going to go one, two, three, four, as soon as you do that. Oh, okay. And then we're going to serve them up on that. Okay, so let's get a little bit of, uh, here. Let's get a little bit of lemon on some of these. So we're gonna put some lemon on this, a couple little lemon drops. Um, get some, just uh, get some lemons and just squeeze a couple little, little bit. And then what we're gonna take is a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You can use your fingers, you can use a spoon. Just sprinkle it over. And then you can do your breadcrumbs. And then the very last, of course, is the breadcrumbs. Now, how much breadcrumbs do we want on this? Whatever you're liking. So a sprinkle for everybody yeah. out, out there. Whatever your palate will tell you. And then you can just start lining them up there and that's gonna be real perfect. And voila. Okay, I'm gonna take one. 
I, I like truffles. It's called La Rosticella. I'm going to put a little of this truffles on my oyster. So what do you got? You got a beer there. Yeah, it's a very delicious beer. So I think this would be perfect with some oysters. Yeah. All right, so tell me um, what you I think. Don't, oh, I don't have a fork. It's a fork. Oh. It was really good. <laughs> Here, I'll try the other one. We're waiting for the reaction. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. I don't want. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. we'll wash it down with a beer. Oh wow! Now with this beer combination and the oysters, it really is good. It, it really just adds that little bit of extra taste afterwards. You know, you have a little bit of an aftertaste with anything, and that just kind of is like a like a topping, like an ice cream topping. It's just really good. Actually, good. you know what? I, I think I really like this. But see, now we know you like the oysters that are going to be mm. Mm. But it is. It's a nice um, oh, wow. it's a beer. It's good. Yeah. It's really good. And this is gluten-free, which is awesome. Because a lot of beers you don't get that are gluten-free. So this is super, super good. And, um, you know, if you have a gluten intolerance, this is the perfect beer for you. And you can enjoy some oysters as well. All right, listen, we're going to get cleaned up. We're going to be right back with some soft shell crab. We're going to make a sandwich. <laughs> and we're back. So what are we cooking? We have some beautiful, and I want to get this on camera, soft shell crabs. Now, the soft shell, they still have their little, the little feelers in them. Yeah, but you see, it's all so soft. Oh. You know, it's 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 not as if it's like you know yeah, like calcium, little, you know that. Yeah. Yeah. So if you just feel it, the actual shells oh, are edible. So weird. So what we have here is we have a little tambour. So we're going to dip it in here, and then we have what we call tartar sauce. Now, what's tambour? Because for that the people is, out there that don't know what I like, again, I'm not really much of a cook, so it's a batter. Uh, and now, what would you put in tambora? Well, you could dip fish in it. You can do the soft grilled crab. You could do shrimp. So, you know, when you get those um, fried shrimp, yeah. it's usually tambora, and it's deep fried. Oh. So it gives that nice batter. It's like almost like a beer batter, but it's tambora. It's got a different taste. So we got the eggs in there and also the mix that gives it the flavor. So what we're going to do is heat up this pan here. Mm -hmm. We have our... Um, Manolio. That's right, vanilla olive oil. We're gonna do it. It's got a nice high heat point and it's delicious. Absolutely. Refined to the end. All right, so we have the tambour. This thing is getting hot. We're gonna give it a little torch. Torch it up. We'll give it a torch. And you guys know out there that this can be dangerous, so you know, don't be pulling the stun at home. This is for me, the Greek. For the people that don't have a torch at home, what would you recommend? Um, just use your stove. And if you're going to use the torch, go outside on yeah, the Yeah, do it outside. Because you, you, next thing you know, you're going to burn it on your house. And yeah, and then your parents are going to be upset with you. <laughs> really. Or your so husband, your or your company, wife. Somebody's going to be yeah. upset. Someone, somebody's going to be upset. <laughs> torch, torch it up. Get that, only. get that oil going. <laughs> so we want this um, very hot because we're going to fry these things. Super hot. So you see I got quite a bit of olive oil on there and this is why I'm not directly putting the flame on there because we would have a fire. We don't need that. No, we don't. <laughs> Today's going good, right? Yeah, absolutely. Here, want to put it on my side? It's always better on my side because you have more stuff going on yep. over there. Right, so, so now what's next? So we're just, you're, you're taking the, uh, are you going to just throw the crab on there or are you going to actually... I'm going to batter it. Batter it. So how do you batter it? never... I'm going to take the crab. Uh -huh. Put it in here. Oh, so people crab. can see it. Poor little crab. Goodbye crab. You want to say a prayer for the crab? 
Little more and after this. All right, so just, you know, coat the crab. Okay. Like you see it. Make sure that the oil is hot. Looks like it's getting there. And we'll just do a little test. It's almost ready. Just turn this up a bit. It's up. And let's go for it, Kenny. Oh my goodness, look at his little legs. Oh. Farewell, <laughs> friend. Feel bad? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I mean, I it. Oh, ooh, hi. <laughs> where's my Where's my uh, my plate uh, armor yeah, your here? Yeah, shield. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if I had a deeper pan, this whole thing would go. So it looks like I'm gonna have to flip this thing in, a, in about 30, 40 seconds. Oh gosh. Yeah, stand behind me, I'll protect you. Yeah, yeah. Make sure, make sure it doesn't fit. You got, you got the, you got the sleeves. I don't got the. Katie's a girly girl. <laughs> Show them your nails, right? No, I don't have long nails. No, but you're always done nicely, right? A girly girl. Sometimes. Oh, it's getting so like crispy and hard. Yeah. So now it's not so soft anymore. Wow, that that was really fast. How how it just like hardened up really. And we're gonna throw this on in any of <laughs> But yeah, look at this. It looks Snail like a little, mask. oh no, I smell, it looks like a little turkey almost, with a no, little right. leg coming out. That's crazy how fast that it does, and that's because of this, isn't it? Yeah, that's your batter. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. You know something, that looks about ready. I'm telling you that it's ready. But you know why it's doing that? Um, because of this? No, the moisture inside the crab, the water's coming out of it. Oh. It's like if you took water and throw it in hot oil, what happens? Same thing. Yeah. But you see, it's starting to calm down now. Boy, that looks good. Scared. It's <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get the second one. Thirdly, <laughs> get the batter and go around it. You know, if I was home and I wasn't on um, camera, I'd just keep my hands. But that's it's sanitary. Now, yeah. Right. Right. So, and again, what kind of crab is this? It's just like um, like soft a specific shell. type of crab. It's a soft shell crab. But you know, a matter of, you know, 20 seconds, get this thing, turn it over. Look at how fast that cooks, that's amazing. Yeah, and it's so appetizing. Wow. Almost immediately it, it hardens. Yeah, one of your buddies lost his leg. I know, my poor, his name was Fernando. And he's gonna have to go on disability. Yeah, he's gotta yes, get yeah. disability now because he's lost yeah. his whole leg. <laughs> Poor little Fernando. Alright, we're gonna put that in there. Let's give this maybe about another 10 seconds. Let's start our second one. You know, you pay big money in a restaurant for these. Really? Yep. And why is that? Well, because first of all, somebody's gotta go out and catch them, you know, which I'm sure is not the easiest task in the world. And they're really in demand, you know, seafood restaurants always have these. You know, my wife likes them, you know, with the um, garlic. Garlic. Yeah, that place, what's that place called? The Rustic Inn down in Florida. You know, but there, it's, it's a lot of work. Look at how go. fast that cooks. It's like, it's like clockwork. Boop, boop. Yeah. All right, so it's ready to flip this. It does go very quick. Yeah. Wow. It smells good though. It really smells good. Yeah, it smells like seafood. Yeah. No, it doesn't actually. What's the smell like? 
To me, this is... It smells yummy. It doesn't smell like seafood. Because seafood has like a, a gross smell to it. This doesn't smell like that. Well, usually gross seafood smell is like old seafood. So if you smell like seafood, like the, the ocean smell, then it's probably not good. Fresh fish and things like that. Don't, don't smell, have right. Order, no. I've been to a lot of restaurants where I walk in there and I'm like... Well, I walk into a lot of grocery stores and they say fresh seafood and I can smell the fish. Like so when you it. smell the fish, it's not good, correct? No, no, I wouldn't eat it. You know, a lot of these um, seafood places, their, their policy is three days and they either get rid of it or else they start marking it down. That was hot, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I try it? Yeah, here. Just take that. Okay. Flip it upside down and just throw it in there. Oh, <laughs> his little legs. Oh, a little spider or something. Eee! <laughs> oh my Very gosh. Very good. All right, let's do the flip. Ooh. Ah. Sizzling, sizzling. Now, would this be something you do at home? Um, uh, maybe if I had a husband. Well, what about you? You gotta practice. Practice. Make perfect. No. You don't want to cook for yourself. I do. Well, because you're, you're natural. You're a chef, naturally. Yeah. If I want to do something, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to get, like, a little, like, garnishing and some, like, little drinks in there. And... It's got to be a darn good restaurant for me to do anything. Yeah. All right, we have one more. You're gonna try this, right? Absolutely. I'm nervous, but I will try anything once. Well, it's not gonna <laughs> bite you. <laughs> that looks ready, young lady. You're gonna eat one now? I just wanna try it, yeah, yeah. Then there's a little light there for you. Delicious. Now, normally you would dip that in the, uh, in the what's it called? Sauce. The what sauce? I call it tartar. Tartar. Yeah, Tartar sauce? Yeah, lemon juice, you know, some kind of pickles, like a relish thing and some mayonnaise. Maybe I should pull this leg off. Maybe you should do it. <laughs> oh, you just leave it on. No, I wanted to try some too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Dip it in there. Oh, it's hot though. I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait a little bit and then I'll try it. It's a little. It's a little sizzly. Now it should be turned over. Yeah. Yes, please. All right, ready? Yep, here, dip it in this. Oh my goodness, okay. You're gonna love it. You never know with Candy, she likes imitation crab, but this is the real stuff. I don't know if I like it or I hate it. So what do you do? I think it's delicious. I like it, but I also don't like it. I like it. It's just sweet. I don't like how many two things for that long. It feels like I'm eating like dead skin or something. That's the tan ball. Uh -uh. It would be good in a sandwich. Yeah, want a sandwich? Yeah, not. I don't like to eat it like. I, if it was like in a sandwich, maybe it would taste yummy. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to toast up these uh, muffins. 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 Yes. Muffins. So, I think these are pretty much ready. Yes. And um, I think you should try some with some more of this sauce. Listen, 
Not have to bend my arm. I'm gonna have one. Absolutely. Uh, have it in a ta 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 sauce. Yes. What is it called? Ta ta sauce. Ta ta sauce. So, don't forget you guys out there to order our cookbook on www.flavinggreek.tv and also you can purchase it on Amazon. We have almost 200 full color pages, hardcover cookbook, it's fantastic. We have breakfast, meals on a budget, entrees, desserts, everything that you can possibly imagine in this book. Great Mother's Day, Father's Day gift. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Flaming Greek. I'm Cammie and this is a Greek. Until next time, everybody stay hot. Keep it hot! Woo! For a copy of any of the recipes that you've seen on today's program, please purchase the Flaming Greek and Kami Cookbook, a delightful, colorful page photo coffee table cookbook that will have you and your family enjoying these recipes in the convenience of your own home. Cook with the Flaming Greek. To purchase the cookbook, log on to theflaminggreek.com. The price is $44.95 plus shipping and handling. Offer made by the Flaming Greek Production.